So the main takeaway of my study is that the 17 alpha ethnoestradiol has same length effect on both fish species, the brown trout and the thymolus thymolus. So we can see on the picture. So the first one is the uh, pills and the second picture is the brown trout and third is the thymolus thymolus. And this is the figure I generated based on the result. And the figure shows the, the exposure effect of species one, the brown trout uh, on the left side versus species two, thymolus thymolus on the right side. And the X axis is species one and two and the Y axis is the exposure effect. And also uh, create a uh, error bars and do the T test to get a P value, which is 0 0.522. And since P, the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, it shows that there's no statistically significant differences between the two species. And therefore we can conclude that the E2, which is the 17 alpha estradiol, has the same length effect on both species. And why does it matter? Uh, E2 is the pill that uh, is the main substance in birth control pills and it's commonly used nowadays. And the drug contamination usually goes into the water system because sometimes people just flush their toy, uh, their pills in the toilet and it goes down into the waste water system and it all goes to a river or lake. And so it's necessary for us to know like what are some effects that the drugs contamination may bring to different species. So we can figure out ways different ways to protect them to and um, in order to protect our marine system. And the, on the right side is the figure I pull out from paper one. So I used the hatching length at day one and hatching length at day 24 of for both control and exposure groups. And then uh, in order for me to compare the length between these two species, I need to subtract the length that they went from day 24 for both group because that's the actual length the, the species grow. And then uh, I'll need to find exposure effect because uh, for in order for me to compare the two species, uh, I have to calculate the exposure effect since the original size of those two species are not the same. So I can't just, uh, compare the length, the length of growth. So in order for me to find the exposure effect, I will find the average length for both group and take the average length of exposure group divided by the average of the control group. Uh, and that's what I did for paper one. And in paper two, I basically did the same thing, but um, paper two, I used the hatching length at day one and hatching length at day eight of both control and exposure group. And then I subtract length at day one from day eight for both group to find the average length for both group. And then I'll take the average length of exposure to I by the average of the control group in order for me to get the exposure effect of the thymolus thymolus. And that's from this point, since I got the two values, then I can uh, start comparing and get the results of my study. And thank you for watching.